So hey there everybody. Today we're not talking about a specific drone project or anything. I wanted to talk to you about why I've been missing from YouTube for the last couple of weeks. So one of the big things, one of the reasons why I own my own small business is because of the fact that it allows me some flexibility to work around some life issues that uh, a lot of you subscribers here probably don't know about. For long-term subscribers, you've probably heard about this with me um over the years and right now i'm at a very frustrated point um, i'm having a flare-up again with hashimoto's so hashimoto's is an autoimmune disorder that i was diagnosed with quite some time ago as well as a couple other autoimmune disorders one of the things that appeals to me in owning my own small business is the fact that i can allow myself to work around the disease when i have issues and flare-ups a couple of weeks ago, I was not feeling my best, and I honestly didn't listen to my body very well. And so I am currently still two weeks in, um, having a really bad time with a flare-up with my Hashimoto's. So part of the reason why I've been missing from the channel is just uh, dealing with the effects um, and the symptoms that can come along with Hashimoto's. Now, some of you are probably going, I don't know what Hashimoto's is. And me too. When I was told I had it, I said, well, cool. It sounds like a neat name. Sounds like something out of a Godzilla movie, you know, <laughs> Hashimoto's. Um, but uh, so right now today, I already started with a bad day. So we're going to be, you know, keeping it, keeping things quiet and uh, low key around here. When I can do some of my work, I do do some of my work, but that's a big part of uh, one of the benefits of owning my own small business. I don't have to explain myself to my boss when at two o'clock in the afternoon I say, I gotta shut down for the day, man. So your thyroid is right in here and sometimes mine will actually swell up and it's very noticeable when I'm having a bad time. And it has been doing that this week. I think it looks a little better today. But um, in the meantime, We've been going through additional testing, new labs, talking about a scan next week, meeting with a gastro um, gastro <laughs> gastroenterologist. I'm saying that wrong um, because oftentimes with my Hashimoto's and an eosinophilic disorder, I have goes right for my gut, and I have a lot of problems with food, which has been happening for the past couple weeks, which has meant I'm a little low energy since I haven't been able to, you know have uh, a balanced diet at the moment. So I'm not posting this to share with you to bum me out or say, poor me. I just wanted to share, you know, why have we been missing a little bit? We're still getting our current client work done, um, but we are putting a hold on new clients who've been getting in touch. We're just letting them know that at the moment, experiencing something of a medical situation and we'll start taking on new clients when we can. I gotta say, this is very frustrating too. So we've got this great part of owning a small business, which is I have some flexibility to work around something in my life that's permanently with me. And you know, if I were to, let's say, go back to telecom, Sprint, PCS, or Suncom, you know, I used to work 12 and 14 hour days. And with this particular condition, um, when it's not under control, <laughs> working 12 and 14 hour days is absolutely not the best plan in the world. Um, I'm just going to pull up on YouTube as well. I already know all of this, you know, uh, what is Hashimoto's and, you know, what it's doing to me and how my body and my thyroid are fighting with each other. Um, long term, you know, this could actually uh, lead to the thyroid completely shutting down and long-term medications for the rest of my life. Hey, I'm back on steroids this week because of what's been going on and the inflammation with me. So I'm sorry if it seems like I'm being a bummer, I'm not trying to, just letting you know, here's where Rich has been, this is why. And believe me, I've got a giant list of topics that I wanna be covering. And even though I'm not feeling great, we're gonna be doing our, um, our regular Patreon Zoom meeting on Sunday because I'm getting stir crazy, sick of hanging out on the couch, and uh, I wanna feel productive again. So that's where I've been, that's what I'm dealing with. And if you're curious about Hashimoto's thyroiditis, um, you know, there's a ton of shorts out there on it. And uh, by the way, guys, 80% um, of folks who are diagnosed with Hashimoto's are women and 20% are men. 
Uh, one of the interesting things uh, I was told by my endocrinologist years ago uh, was that she would have diagnosed me a lot sooner had she met me. Um, but a lot of doctors do not test guys for Hashimoto's. And, you know, so that, I've been living with it a lot longer than just my diagnosis date. It's been almost a, a decade now. But I've been having autoimmune stuff since 2006, and most likely Hashimoto's was nestled in there somewhere all the way back then. So hopefully we'll get through this flare-up uh, in the near future so I can get back to work and stop being stir-crazy. And we can start talking about our drones and QGIS and planning new uh, flights and uh, the contacts that we've received recently. So by the way, a lot of email comes in through the inbox and I didn't realize it until I took a couple days off just from even looking at the computer, came back and I was like, wow, a lot of people do get in touch with us. So we are doing the right things when it comes to what we're providing our clients. Sorry, we've got a bit of a slowdown here to the clients. We'll be back and running in no time. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great week. Wish me luck, cross your fingers, and hopefully we can get this thing kind of cleared up and back into a quieter stage in the next couple of weeks. We'll see you again real soon, everybody.